Getting to Know and Love the Holy Koran for Kids A Children's Book Introducing Holy Koran by The Sincere Seeker Kids Collection Narrated by Brad Grahowski When the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was forty years old, he was by himself in a cave called Hira to meditate and think deeply about life and this universe, in the month of Ramadan, the ninth month of the Islamic calendar. Then an angel named Gabriel came down, which frightened Prophet Muhammad. The angel squeezed him really hard and ordered him to read. Prophet Muhammad did not know how to read or write, and said, I do not know how to read. Angel Gabriel squeezed him again and asked him to read two more times. But Prophet Muhammad gave him the same answer. Then the first verse of the Holy Quran came down from God through Angel Gabriel to Prophet Muhammad. Terrified, he ran home to his wife and asked her to cover him. Then he explained what had happened to his wife, Khadija, peace be upon her. She quickly confronted him and told him, God will never humiliate you because you are good to your family and help the poor and needy. Then over twenty-three years the Holy Quran was sent down to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, peace by peace. The Holy Quran is a book from Allah, our Creator. The word Quran means recitation in Arabic. The Holy Quran is Allah's exact words. Allah sent down the Holy Quran for us so we can be guided by Him and build a relationship with Him and love Him too. The Holy Quran is a book of guidance that guides human beings in every aspect of their lives. The Holy Quran is an instructional manual on how one should live their life. It teaches us what is good for us in life and what is bad and harmful that we should avoid. The Holy Quran teaches us that we should believe in the oneness of Allah, the existence of His angels, His prophets and messengers, His books, and that we should believe in the Last Day, Resurrection Day and Judgment Day, and that we should believe in divine predestination too. The Holy Quran teaches us that we should believe and worship the one true God. It teaches us that we should pray to Allah every day and that we should be charitable and help the poor and needy. The Holy Quran teaches us we should fast in the month of Ramadan so we can be more righteous and get closer to Allah and we should perform Hajj at least once a lifetime, if we can. The Holy Quran teaches love, compassion, faith, and goodwill. God reminds us of His love, compassion, and mercy through the Holy Quran. Allah loves us very much, and we should love Him too. The Holy Quran teaches us to be good to our parents, our family, our siblings, our friends, and to be good to animals and not hurt or destroy plants. The Holy Quran teaches us that we should be truthful and never lie or cheat. The Holy Quran teaches us that we should always be grateful and say Alhamdulillah for everything, thanking and praising Allah for what He has given us. We should be optimistic, hopeful, and always place our trust in Allah, the Glorious. The Holy Quran teaches us patience. The Holy Quran teaches us we should be humble and not show off. The Holy Quran teaches us that our enemy is Satan. He wants to misguide us and take us away from Allah, our Creator. The Holy Quran teaches that everyone is responsible for their own actions, and everyone will be answerable to God. God sent books in the past before the Holy Quran for past nations and people that lived before us. But the last and final book is the Holy Quran, 
which is meant for us until the end of time. The Holy Quran has 114 chapters and over 6,000 verses and is in the Arabic language. The Holy Quran has been the same since it was first revealed and has never changed, not even a single letter. The Holy Quran is God's biggest miracle and contains hundreds of miracles inside. The Holy Quran is memorized by millions of people of all ages, languages, and backgrounds from all over the world. No book is read more than the Holy Quran. Almost every Muslim has memorized some portion of the Holy Quran to read in his or her prayers. Allah promised in the Holy Quran that He has made understanding and memorizing the Holy Quran easy for everyone. The Holy Quran is meant to be read aloud and in a beautiful, melodious voice. We should read the Holy Quran every day so we can get closer to Allah and understand His words and message to us. We should read the Holy Quran every day so we can get rewarded too. For every letter we read in the Holy Quran, we would receive ten rewards. The End